there. I'm Carol Ostro, president of the Actors Tempo, and welcome to The Past is Prologue, Stories of the Actors Tempo by Ira Helf. And this is chapter four. And I'm going to be reading the story to you because I have a very special connection to the people that the story is about. I've told you before that I was a showgirl in Las Vegas blah, 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 years ago. And one particular time I was in Las Vegas, I was going to be taking someone's place at the Desert Inn and Don Arden was the choreographer and the producer. So I was backstage looking through the curtain to see the act that was there, the chorus, because I was going to be taking someone's place and just wanted to get the relationship of where I would be for entrances and exits. And right behind me, I heard two voices. I turned around and I saw two of the most exquisite women I had ever seen. And it turns out many decades later, they were members of the actor's temple. So you never know in life where it's going to bring you. And by the way, if you see that statue behind me, that was made from a picture of me as a showgirl at the Desert Inn in Las Vegas. So let's get right to the story. And it's about the Bagelman sisters and the actor's temple stories from past as prologue from the actor's temple. The names Clara and Minnie Bagelman, the Bagelman sisters, are probably not familiar to you. They were born in the Bronx to Herman and Esther Bagelman, Clara in 1920 and Minnie in 1923. It's much more likely that you know them as the Barry sisters, Claire and Myrna. Their names were changed in 1937. The Barry sisters were members of the Actors Temple their popularity as performers spanned the decades from the 40s to the 70s. The Sister Act released 16 albums, 41 single recordings. While many songs were sung in English, the core of their repertoire and the source of their popularity was their singing in Yiddish, which brought them a devoted Jewish following around the world. Their singing career began when they were children. They were discovered on Yiddish radio, a once popular entertainment media that had been pretty much gone for 70 years. Yiddish radio began in the 20s and quickly, due to the large immigrant population, were very popular. So by the early 30s, there were 23 Yiddish radio stations in New York alone. Their singing career of the Bagelman sisters began in 1932. Mrs. Esther Bagelman sent in a box top, a box top, that won a radio audition for her daughters. From that audition, Clara and Minnie got to perform on the Yiddish Kinder Show, the Jewish Children's Hour. They became overnight stars. One of their recordings was the Yiddish song, Bar Mir Bistershain, You Are Beautiful to Me. The song was composed in 1932 by Sholem Segunda and Jacob Jacobs. A few years later, in 1937, lyricist Sammy Kahn and pianist Lou Levy were at a show in Harlem when two black performers named Johnny and George took to the stage singing Bamiya Bistershain in Yiddish. Well, the crowd went wild. Kahn and Levy sensed a hit. Khan wrote a mostly English version of the lyrics. He presented it to the orchestra leader named, oddly enough, Vic Schoen, who added swing to the music. To record it, they got a then unknown trio of Lutheran sisters, the Andrews sisters. <laughs> it was an immediate hit. It was soon translated into other languages for the European market. It was even a hit in Hitler's Germany until the Nazi party discovered that its composer was Jewish and that the song title wasn't dialectically German, but was Yiddish. 
That was the end of Bamia Bistershain in Nazi Germany. <laughs> when Clara and Minnie heard the Andrews sisters' English version of this song, the Bagelman sisters decided to change their name to the Barry sisters. Their career took off. Bei mir bist du schön, bei mir hast du kein, bei mir bist du einer auf der Welt. At the same time, the Yiddish radio station WHN decided to create the music category known as Yiddish Swing and a new show called Yiddish Melodies in Swing. It was a live show that was aired on the radio every Sunday at 1 p.m. And the live show was performed at Lowy State Theater in New York, then located at 1540 Broadway, which is just a few blocks from the Actors' Temple. It was a natural for the newly named Barry sisters to perform at this show. And this gig made them the best known singers of Yiddish swing. Yiddish melodies in swing lasted nearly two decades, thereby outliving swing, the golden age of radio, and most of popular Yiddish culture. What was the secret to the success of the Barry sisters? Well, for the most part, it was their music. Their sound was described as close as air harmonies. Spunky energy and seamless transitions from Yiddish to English. There was also their appearance, which was described as two beautiful women dressed in the latest fashion, hair perfectly coiffed, singing with some sultry voices that could make your heart leap. The Barry sisters were wonderful to listen to, beautiful to look at, energetic and uplifting a perfect combination. If you haven't heard them recently, this is a great example of how skilled they were at harmonizing. Just listen to this. Their personal performances, in addition to Yiddish melodies in swing, included live shows at New York's Catskill Resort hotels and televised shows such as the Ed Sullivan Show, and he was also a member of the Actors Temple, and the Jack Parr Show, and they were in Las Vegas and Miami. The Barry sisters proudly entertained in Israel and it was the time of the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Claire and Myrna did their best to entertain the troops of the Israeli Defense Forces. In November 1976, Myrna Barry passed away after a brief illness. She was only 53 years old. It was the end of an era. So the Actors Temple is proud to have had members such as the Barry sisters who kept traditions and the language of European Jews alive. The Barry sisters are just one of the very inspirational stories we're presenting to you. Please remember, we need your donations. And we want to keep the Actors Temple alive for the memory of all of these wonderful, important, and Jewish entertainers, please give. We're here for you, and I know you're here for us, and we love you. Thank you for watching Chapter 4, The Pastor's Prologue, Stories of the Actors' Temple by Ira Health. Shalom.